Hey guys, it's Adrian. Have you ever wondered who currently owns the apartment complex you're currently living in? Or how did they buy it in the first place? In this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of what apartment syndication is all about. Let's get right to it. So what is an apartment syndication? I like to think of it as flipping a very large house. The concept of a flip is buying an undervalued property, renovating it, sell it, and then splitting the profits with a team. In a typical flip project, the team is composed of two parts, the active and the passive component. On the active side, these are the people who are directly engaged in the project, versus on the passive side, these people are typically the ones who are funding the deal. The active component is known as the general partners or GP for short. They are also called the sponsor, operator, or syndicator. The responsibilities of a GP are to source, acquire, manage, and sell the property once the agreed upon returns are met. Because they're signing for the loan, they're taking the bulk of the liabilities. On the other hand, the passive component is known as the limited partners, or LP for short. Their responsibilities are simple. Vet the GP team, and evaluate the deal if it meets their financial goals. And if so, invest money in the deal. That's it. Because they have a passive role in the partnership, they receive the benefits of property ownership without the accompanying responsibilities. Now let's talk about the differences between flipping a residential home and apartment syndication. The obvious one is going to be the price. Because of the property's sheer size, the funds needed to finance an apartment syndication deal can be significantly large, which leads me to point number two. There are a lot more people involved. Raising millions of dollars is not a problem just as long as you know enough people with enough money. It is not uncommon to have 50 to 100 LPs in a single apartment syndication deal. Last but not least, the life cycle is longer in apartment syndication deal. A residential flip can last between six to 18 months while an apartment syndication deal can last between three to seven years. To learn more about apartment syndication, check us out at cashflowportal.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.